All right, you ready? Let's blast through some seriously useful calculus power tricks. Yeah, that's right. We're talking more than 10. These are the essential tricks, the shortcuts, the hacks that are going to make you look like a calculus wizard. And here's the kicker. We're going to do it all in under three minutes. I'm not kidding. So, no time to waste. You ready? Let's dive in. Okay, first up, how can you tell if a function is going up or down? It's all about the sign of the derivative, f prime of x. If f prime is positive, the function's increasing. If it's negative, it's decreasing. Seriously, it's that simple. And that leads right into this. Because what happens when that sign changes? Well, if the derivative goes from positive to negative, boom, you've just found a local maximum. And if it switches from negative to positive, that's your local minimum. Need a way to lock that in your brain? Here you go. Think PM, like the afternoon, that's a peak maximum. And MP, think of it as a minimum pit. You'll literally never get them mixed up again. Okay, but what if you want an even faster way? Meet the second derivative test. If the second derivative is positive, picture a bowl curving up, like a smiley face. It holds water, right? That's a minimum. If it's negative, picture a hill curving down, like a frowny face. That's a maximum. So positive is a happy bowl, negative is a sad hill. Done. All right, let's talk tangent lines super easy. The slope, that's just the derivative at the point you care about. Then you just plug that slope into the good old point slope formula, you know the one, and you're golden. And what about the normal line? Well, that's just the line that's perpendicular to the tangent. So what do you do with the slope? You just flip it and reverse the sign. The negative reciprocal. Same formula, different slope. That's it. Listen up, this one's a biggie. Anytime you see the phrase rate of change in a problem, I want your brain to just scream derivative. Most of the time, they mean with respect to time, t. The classic example, velocity is just the rate of change of position, or dx over dt. Are those max men word problems giving you a headache? Here's the four-step plan to crush them every single time. Step one, get the equation down to just one variable. Step two, take the derivative. Step three, set that derivative equal to zero and solve for the variable. And finally, step four, double check if what you found is a max or a min. This blueprint works every